feel a little stupid because I couldn't do it. I got as far as I could, but that's a long way down. Well, hello and welcome. If you don't know who I am, my name is Nate, and I want to thank you very much for joining me today. And in this video, based on that first little clip you saw, I'm going to be diving in a little bit more into the philosophical realm of things. And I tend to think about a lot of this stuff quite often. And I'm, I may do more videos like this in the future. Uh, let me know down in the comments if this is something that you would enjoy seeing more of. And I'll be sure to create more videos like this. Now, if you didn't already know, my wife and family and I went to Germany this past June to visit my wife's family uh, in Germany. And while we were there, my wife and I decided to take our own little mini vacation, just the two of us, and we ended up going to Grindelwald's Switzerland. Now, when choosing the place, I really just wanted to go somewhere where I had never been and that she had never been. Now, she's been to Switzerland before, uh, but not Grindelwald in particular. And I really wanted to go there because of the Eiger. And if you don't know what that is, just Google it. It's one of the most famous mountaineering um, places for rock climbers and that. And I wanted to see it in person. I've seen videos about it. I've seen, you know, the I know some of the history behind it. And I just wanted to see it in person. And also, while researching the different activities that we'd be able to do in Grindelwald, one of the biggest um, attractions, if you will, in Grindelwald is the Cliff Walk. Now, it is exactly what the name implies. It is a metal walkway with a railing that is attached to the side of a cliff. And I thought, I can do that. I can, I can do this cliff walk. You know, that would be amazing to go all the way to Switzerland and then, you know, accomplish the cliff walk. Just to, to say that I did it, that I, I made it across this platform attached to the side of this cliff. Now, things didn't go as planned. And when we got up there, uh, well, the weather was kind of gloomy. Um, it was supposed to rain all day that day, so it was quite cloudy. The clouds were coming up the valley, which was pretty amazing in itself, just to see the clouds. You know, we were right in the middle of the clouds. Uh, so it wasn't this picture perfect blue sky and whatever. So, you know, I got to the edge of this or at the beginning of this cliff walk. And at the beginning, you know, it looked it looked great. Now, mind you, my wife does heights less than I do. So she probably took two steps out onto it and said, yeah, that's, that's not happening. I will wait for you and I'll see you when you get back. And I thought, all right, you know, so I turned the camera on on my phone and off I went. And before I get too far into the story, let's just watch that short little clip of me doing the cliff walk.
Okay, so I feel a little stupid because I couldn't do it. I got as far as I could, but that's a long way down and the wind is blowing and I don't like heights. And so I'm gonna chicken out, maybe next time. Couldn't do it, couldn't do it. I got to that corner and the wind started blowing. Like, nope, not gonna happen. Well, as you saw, I did not quite make it. I made it to that one spot where I had to duck down around the rock outcropping there. And when I got around the corner, a gust of wind came up and I called it quits. I, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't finish. Uh, I think maybe if the wind wasn't blowing, I could have gone at least a little bit farther, uh, but I don't know. You know, I'm, I am not fond of heights. And I know people tend to think that, or they say there's very few people actually that are actually afraid of heights. Um, most of the time it's afraid of falling. And now that might seem obvious, but if you think about it, if somebody's truly afraid of heights, they, they don't do well up in the air, no matter what they're doing, even if they're, you know, walking a cliff walk or in an airplane, you know, and I don't like heights, but I'm fine in an airplane. That doesn't bother me. So um, I think that for me personally, I am more afraid of that drop of that long thousand plus foot fall uh, should something terrible go wrong. Um, and it got me thinking about a couple things really. When I got back and started reviewing the footage and I thought, you know, you know, I was really bummed actually that I didn't finish, that I didn't make it across because I felt like um, a failure. I felt, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't make it. Um, but a couple of the things that I thought about. One is just fear in itself. You know, you have those people that climb thousand foot cliffs or bigger uh, without any rope or safety devices. You know, they're the free climbers, the Alex Honnold, you know, that he can go up these cliffs with just his hands and feet, no ropes, no safety lines, nothing. And it doesn't bother him. And then there's people like me who get sweaty palms just watching a video of him doing that. And so that's one thing that got me thinking about how, how different we are in our fears and what, what creates that? How, why is Alex not afraid of that? Whereas there's no way in hell I would even attempt to go you know, 20 feet up without a rope. Um, so that's one thing, and that could be a topic for a whole nother video. But the one that I wanted to talk about today was, and I've mentioned it already, and that's failure. The term failure, right? So a lot of us think that if we don't accomplish something that we failed, if we don't finish something we failed, if we don't uh, get that job that we interviewed for, we failed. But there's a flip side to all of that, and that's the success out of that failure. And for me, walking this cliff walk or attempting to walk this cliff walk, if I think back to when I was younger, I was so terrified of heights that you couldn't put me in a shopping cart because that itself was too high off the ground. And what is that? You know, three feet, maybe? I, I, I would tense up and latch on and I didn't like it. Uh, and then getting a little bit older, my grandfather had a, had a farm and he had a couple horses and I'd go horseback riding and, you know, horses can be pretty large, especially when you're, you know, eight, nine, 10 years old. Uh, but I was scared to get on the horse because of how far up I was on this horse. Now, granted, I, I never truly like conquered that, but I, I got used to it enough 
that once we were moving and once we were you know riding the horse um i was fine now if the horse spooked and reared up and did all this weird stuff then i would freak out again but for the most part i could i could handle it and i remember uh when i was i don't know how old i was i was a toddler or pretty pretty young and back home in my hometown we have a footbridge basically that goes over main street it's a covered tunnel basically but it's a walkway for foot traffic for pedestrians and you know it's it's up there because it's over main street it's over the the street but it's not a thousand feet up you know it's not a hundred feet up uh but i remember crawling on my hands and knees because i couldn't walk because it was too scary and i got halfway across and just lost it. I just, I had, I had to go back. I couldn't do it. And I think about then, and then I think about now. And growing up in Wyoming, in the Rocky Mountains, uh, I had friends who rock climbed and, and we would go bouldering and, and all of this kind of stuff. And I, I would do it more so to try and conquer that fear, more so to just show myself that I'm capable of doing that, that I'm going to be okay. I'm not going to fall. And I never did. Um, but, and then being in Grindelwald, Switzerland on this cliff walk. Now, if I think about where I started and then where I ended up, I would say that that's a success. You know, I didn't make it all the way across, granted, but I made it part way. I was on the side of a cliff. I, I faced one of my biggest fears ever and and did it. And to me that's not a com that's not a failure. That's not a complete failure at least because I I tried it and I got farther than I ever would in any previous point in my life. So thinking of fear and thinking of these failures um I I challenge everybody to to look at it from another perspective, right? Uh, let's say you, you failed at um, an interview, you didn't get the job, but there's always a positive out of a failure, always. Maybe you learned how to answer a question better. Maybe you, you are a little bit more comfortable speaking in front of somebody and answering questions. Maybe you're a little bit more comfortable answering those difficult questions that you were afraid to answer. So there's always going to be a success in every failure. You just have to take the time to step back and look at it and evaluate the entire situation. So for me, failing at completing the cliff walk is actually a success. I made it farther than I ever would in any other point in my life. And for me, that that's enough for now. <laughs> I want to go back and I want to do it. I want to complete the whole thing. Now, when we came back, I'll show another little short clip of we walked around to the top and then looked down upon it. And I didn't know at the time that I was on that cliff walk that I would be walking across a bridge. Now, this walkway was graded metal, so you could see through it. And I didn't know that I'd be going across, you know, this open area. And so maybe I would made it, would have made it to that point and then freaked out. But then, you know, I'm over halfway at that point. So I might have, might as well just finish. Uh, so I don't, I don't know, but now I know what it's like. I do want to go back and try and, and complete the whole thing. So that's today's video. I just wanted to kind of share uh, my experience with this failure uh, to complete something that I set out to accomplish. Uh, and I want you to think about the next time that you think that you have failed at something and try to look at it from the positive side of things. Um, it'll make you feel better and it will encourage you to not give up. You know, when you, when you think you failed, you want to just throw in a towel and call it quits. And I'm not, I'm not good enough. Uh, I'm too scared, whatever the case may be. But if you look at what you accomplished out of that failure, that should encourage you to try it again or to try something else that you're afraid to do, knowing that even if you failed, you still succeeded. So 
Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you appreciate this video. And if you have any thoughts or comments about the subject, about what I've said today, or your own experience, please share it in the comments down below. And please uh, share the video, like the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the video to get more content like this. Hit that little bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.